Quality Photo version 2.5 as a new feature, QR codes. Now this is also available in Designer as well as Publisher. So what can you do with it? Well, you can create QR codes in a variety of different ways. Key thing is, where is the QR code? You can find it here, rectangle, and just go down the bottom, QR code tool. Now, once you've done that, you've got the color here, and also you've got here, data it says. Well, what you can do is just create it very quickly like that. And now, just go up here to the data, just click there, and you can see you get this panel. Edit QR code. And you can edit it in all kinds of ways. You've got here, text, Earl, so you can put that, and of course, defaults to affinity dot serif. Great feature, and it uses the current color, the fill color here. You can go for, say, email. And I've created one already. And you can see what you do. Subject, QR code, obviously test.test.com. Hopefully no one's got that. And you can put a really long text, maybe an entire novel. Who knows? Put it all in a QR code. Oh, once you're happy with that, just click OK. And of course, you can apply it again. So you can just drag and you can click up here and you can change it. So you might decide, you know what, a completely different text here. Maybe a completely different one. Maybe use a phone so you can put some numbers in, whatever, and it will generate the QR code for that. Really quick and easy. But it's a great tool for creating some interesting visual effects. I've created this, but again, I could just, with it selected, just go up here, click here, and you can add some more. So you can decide, you know what, let's add some more text. Now, unfortunately, it does seem to put it in the wrong place, but say you want, you can add some more, and I can add some, obviously, loads more text there, and it seems to just add it over here. So you can put some numbers, and you can see that changes. I love the different variations. I'm certain there's a pattern to that. But I've created that. Obviously, it doesn't mean anything, but it's great for visuals, because you've got this lovely texture. Very quick and easy way of creating a texture in Finity Photo or Designer, etc. And now you can, of course, drag this out. It's a vector design. You can manipulate it. Now you can convert it to curves. You can manipulate then. I think that's probably going to be pretty slow. I imagine it's going to be a lot of points there. But what you can also do is you can go up to the fill and click there. And you can say, you know what? I don't want it black. I want it green, say. Or go to swatches, and then apply a gradient so you can get a nice colorful. Now, I haven't seen many QR codes looking like that. You may get a QR code like that or like that. And you can still manipulate it. So you can go over to the gradient tool and change that. It's still a standard layer. You can see over here it says QR code. So it real actually remembers that it's a QR code. Now at this point, you can obviously just click on it, doesn't do anything. What you need to do is go to the actual tool to access this the data and then just click here again if you want to change it. But let's just manipulate it a bit further. I can just go here and I can duplicate it. Just go to layer and duplicate. And I've got two and they're independent. So I got here QR code, still QR code, it's not been converted to anything else. I can click here and then I can say, oh, you know what? made a mistake, I can add some more text. So it's slightly different, albeit much the same as the other one. And you can, of course, move it around, reposition it. You can rotate it. So you can combine it on top. You can shear it. And it's still a QR code. I'm not certain how well it reads as a QR code, but it's still, according to this, a QR code. So let's just remove that. Because what you can also do with this, go down here, Effects. Just go down and click Effects, and then go here, Bevel and Boss. So Bevel and Boss, you can add a nice bevel. Again, I'm not certain how well it would read on a mobile phone if you've got a bevel to it. I suspect not. But as a visual design, you can then manipulate it further. You can push this up. You can go maybe change profiles, change the direction. You can see you can create a variety of different designs. And also, maybe out of shadow. So just add a shadow to it. And again, just creates even more unusual designs. Click close. Now, I'm not gonna keep that, but I'm just gonna, just wanna show you can do that. But also what you can do, again, you can duplicate it. So duplicate it, and then with that, you can rotate it. And then you can combine this. So you've got now this 
very complex shape on top of each other. And of course, it's just a layer. So you can go over here and you can go through light and difference and so on to create even more weird and wonderful combinations, glow, negation, and normal. But also what you can do, let's just remove that one. Got this design, it can be modified. As soon as you do anything to it, you've lost it, lost the QR code. So you might want to duplicate it. So just go over to layer and again, duplicate it. And then you can just hide it. So lock it and hide it. But that one up here, you can then manipulate. You can go around and just say, oh, you know what? I want filters and, or maybe go to layer and you can of course do live filters just as good. Then you don't lose the aspect that it's a QR code. But I'm just going to use filter, so filter, distort, and deform. So you just go there, and with that, click here. You can add some pins, and you can drag that pin. Now, of course, it becomes a pixel. It's no longer a QR code. That's why I saved it there. So if you wanted to, of course, use it as a QR code, you're still, you've still got it. So, And you can just drag this and distort this using deform and click apply. And of course, once you've got that, exactly the same as before, hold down the alter option key, and then you can drag, and you can duplicate that design. And you can see you can create then some very complex texture designs very quickly. Now that adds into the next thing. With this design here, you can always press return or enter on the keyboard, and that will bring up the move duplicate. Move duplicate means you can then go to duplicate, and then you can go scale, so you can actually create sort of one there, number of copies, maybe make it 14. And you can see then you've got this weird abstract design like that. And also you can add rotation into it. So you can create a sort of weird smeary sort of distorted QR code like that. And click OK. Just gonna undo that. And also I'm gonna go back to the code. Let's just go back to this code here. Also, you can use this maybe as a source for patterns. Now at the moment, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm just gonna go and layer, new pattern layer from selection. Doesn't work, needs to be a pixel layer. Sometimes some formats seem to be happier than others, but it needs to be a pixel layer. So again, layer, just go down here and rasterize. And nope, rasterize. So now it's that, what you need to do, you can resize it and then go to layer, New pattern layer from selection. And then you've got a very, very, let's just remove the other one. Confuses the issue there. You can see now you've got this pattern and you can manipulate this pattern now. There's obviously a little bit of a gap there in between. Obviously it's got a little bit of a sort of edge to it. You can see that edge. Obviously you could maybe crop it before you do this or use a selection. That will be another way around that. And then you can rotate that, manipulate it, and again, shear it and create all kinds of unique designs with that QR code. And again, so the same, you can hold down the Alter Option key and duplicate that to build up a more complex design of duplicates of those patterns. Let's just undo that and go back there. And that is one you can do with this. So once, let's just go back to this QR code. Now I've got it as a pixel. Well, I can always just use part of it. Don't need to all of it. So just simply create a selection and then edit, copy, and edit, and paste. So now I've got this pixel layer with that, obviously, bit of that QR code. So select and deselect, let's just move it. And you can see then you've got that. And you can manipulate that, obviously duplicate it, apply effects, etc. Hold down the alter option key, duplicate it, and create all kinds more complex designs with that. If you've got your vector QR code, you can also paste in an image. So I'm gonna go here, Adobe stock image, simply edit and copy, and then edit, and what you need to do is paste inside. So let's just go back to the QR code with it selected, that's the key thing, then go to edit and paste inside. There's paste inside, make certain it's selected there and you can then manipulate it. So you can resize it, move it around. So you've got a lovely QR code like that. And of course you can go back to the QR code, click effects, maybe go and add an outer shadow, like that, just to give a bit of a depth to that, and close. So you've got a lovely QR code that you can, of course, manipulate in many other ways. You can simply select the background again, apply effects to it. You might decide instead of the 
pure effect like that, you can go with down to Gaussian blur. So you can just blur it slightly and then click apply. So you've got QR code with an image. You can also use the QR code as a selection. So you've got this QR code, then just go to select and down to selection from layer. With the selection, now you can see you've got your marching ants all the way around there. You can always, if you want, just make it invisible and also just delete it if you don't want it. So you just delete it. Now you've got your selection. With that selection, you go over here and you can create a layer, another layer, always needs a layer. So layer and new layer, then gradient tool and apply that. And of course, you can then manipulate it further. So selection and deselect, or maybe save the selection if you want to. So deselect, and now you've got your design there, which you can of course manipulate it again with filters, maybe Gaussian blur and other effects. Create something like that instead, click apply. You can also use the QR code, any of the QR codes as a great displacement map. So just create that, vector design, again using the QR code here. With that, just place it in the background and then use it. Now at this point, you'll notice there's a problem. It's black, that is not very useful unfortunately. What you need to do is go up here to the fill and click here and then fill it. Fill it with something like gradient, anything that's got a bit more variability to it than just black. Then go back to the background and make certain it's visible. With it selected, go to filters, go down to distort and displace. So in displace, get this panel, go for load map from layers beneath. Now at 10, you can hardly notice any difference. But as soon as I push it up a bit more, maybe 100, 147, you can see now what happens is your QR code gain becomes part of the image. You can see the design there. So image and QR code and click apply. And of course you can apply it multiple times. So filters, repeat displacement map to create even more unusual designs. Again, once you've done that, of course, it really does cease to be a QR code. If you've got your QR code here, it's a vector design, and as a vector design, you can convert it from QR code into curves. As soon as you've done that, it's no longer defined as a QR code, so you can't manipulate it here. But what you can do, just go to convert to curves, and then you can see what happens. It generates this, that's made up exactly the same. But you of course can then go over here with a no tool, you can select all of this and you can manipulate with a no tool at each individual point. But also what you can do with them all selected like this, you can convert them. So let's just quickly convert them. So the whole thing can selected, go up here to convert, just go to this one, smart, smooth and sharp. The one I want, smooth. So click there. Now deselect that, you've got that far more abstract <laughs> QR code. I suspect this will not work as a QR code, but still you've got this very abstract design, which near enough looks like an alien language design, which you can of course then manipulate as before, simply select it. You can convert it into a pixel image, maybe go to layer and again rasterize. So it's all converted and then manipulate it with filters, blurs, distort, etc. Maybe go for mirror. So go for the mirror effect and then you've got Number of mirrors, you can go for maybe number of mirrors, say two, three. You might like to crop it obviously beforehand because of course what happens, it generates this gap and you can modify the input as well to create even more interesting designs with your QR code. And that's a run through of maybe some ways of using the QR code in not perhaps the way the QR code is meant to be used. I would have to agree with that. It is obviously a brilliant tool for creating QRs. So click there and again you've got email, text, URL, loads of great features, all from this very simple basic panel. I think it's a real great addition to the application and also a great way of creating some interesting designs as well. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. Bye.